Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to be diving into my top three best teams for Quagsire. Quagsire, one of the many Pokemon that received a buff for season 15 of Pokemon Go Battle League. Mud Bomb, for the longest time, was very much a subpar charge move, and Mud Bomb got a buff for season 15, going from 55 base damage up to 60, making it a respectable charge move now. And Quagsire received mud bomb and now has some very solid play in the great league it now has a viable bait move that happens to have stab so uh quagsire gonna be very good this season one of the many pokemon that was buffed to provide some much needed answers to the very powerful knocked owl lantern core so we're going to be taking a look at three very strong teams for quagsire and i'm quite excited now just as with yesterday's video with alolan sand slash the shadow does sim quite a bit better than the non-shadow but that does not mean that if you don't have a shadow and you happen to have a non-shadow that you can't still run Quagsire and have success. So do keep that in mind. These teams will be featuring the shadow as it does sim slightly better than the non-shadow. So with all that out of the way, let's dive right into these teams. All right, my friends, kicking things off, we've got team number one, a very powerful team for Quagsire for season 15 of Go Battle League. It leads with Noctowl on the lead. Metacham on the safe swap, and Quagsire in the back to close the game strong. So Quagsire, uh, um, especially the Shadow, happens to perform at its best with a shield advantage. So putting it in the back as a closer just made perfect sense. Um, I think that's where it will shine best. Uh, it'll also put in work as a lead option, um, but um, I think it is best served as a closer, uh, preferably with a shield advantage. So uh, let's have a look at the scorecard here. And look at that, not bad. Very strong scorecard for team number one here. We get a B for coverage, B for bulk, A for safety, and an A for consistency. Very solid and strong scorecard for team number one here. Let's have a look at these matchups. So Knocked Owl, as we all know, very powerful. Going to be uh, quite strong this season as well, but we've got answers to it now. And Knocked Owl on the lead, as strong as any lead option in the Open Great League. You just have to protect it from those steel and ice types. And that is what we have in the back with these two. So any steel type, we're obviously getting out of there. Same goes for the ice types. And with Trevenant basically being pushed out of the meta with the nerf, Metacham is now um, a pretty, pretty solid safe swap, I will say. I'm a lot more comfortable safe swapping medi knowing that the trevenants will be kept at bay due to the nerf so any steel or ice type we can safe swap medi medi has the coverage medi's such a beast that even if you are met with a flyer which you kind of want to draw out although quagsire does have the coverage on the flyers um it's much more of a steel and electric type answer uh, but do having that stone edge coverage is quite nice as well so we're safe swapping medi likely going to draw out a ghost or a flyer and that's fine medi can fight back and uh, knocked out can come back in clear that hard counter and quagsire will hopefully be free up a shield to uh, wreak havoc uh, down the line. So that's how the team is designed. I did want to highlight Altaria. On the surface, it seems like it could be quite a problem. Technically, a bit of a core breaker, as it does beat all three of these Pokemon individually. But Noctowl can put in the work. So um, as with all Noctowl leads on any team that I build and analyze, we are staying in on Altaria leads and we are playing out the zeros. At the very least, we will grab a shield advantage, but it is a very narrow loss for Noctowl and that is quite all right because Altaria leads always have to have a steel type in the back and that is because altaria pairs perfectly with steel types the steel types cover altaria's primary weakness of ice and of course charm so letting your knockdown go down is quite all right because we've got two excellent steel answers in the back so uh on altaria leads we're playing out the zeros altaria will be left standing in the end or flying i should say <laughs> <laughs> and it will not be healthy. Medi can come in, uh, get a nice healthy farm with resisted counter damage and really be ready for what comes in. 
So that is, uh, and uh, DD, that's another one I wanted to highlight quickly. Altaria and DD can be uh, a little bit slightly problematic, more so uh, defense form Deoxys. You can stay in. Just know that if you tank the uh, Thunderbolt, they can threaten the farm down with neutral counters. They can tank a Shadow Ball and you will still need to make it to a Sky Attack before they can make it to their second charge move. So you can play out the twos with that. I, it's a bit tricky doing that, but uh, you could also look to catch a move on Metacham and preserve your Noctowl. So a number of ways to play that, but the safest play is to try and just get rid of the de uh, Deoxys while you have it on the lead. And that's how I would uh, look to tackle a defense form Deoxys lead. Everything else in between, pretty straightforward. Um, this is a very strong and powerful team. One of the best teams you can absolutely run for Quagsire in the Great League. And it leads with Noctowl on the lead, Medicham on the safe swap, and Quagsire in the back to close for you. So... That is team number one. Uh, with all that said, let's have a look at team number two. All right, guys, moving right along to team number two. Another very strong and powerful team for Quagsire in the Great League. It leads with Altaria on the lead, Reggie Steele on the safe swap, and Quagsire yet again in the back to close the game strong. Quagsire, um, being a mud boy, just pairs beautifully with Flyers. Um, that is just historically how it goes. Um, very much weak to grass, although I don't anticipate seeing too much grass. Um, it doesn't necessarily like the counter users as well, especially as a shadow. So uh, pairing it with flyers just makes perfect sense, guys. That's why you're going to see it paired with flyers here. Um, and Altaria, one of the best flyers, arguably the best flyer in the entire meta, right up there with Noctowl. They're 1A and 1B in my humble opinion. And uh, Reggie Steele on the safe swap quite strong as well. So let's have a look at this uh, scorecard here. And not bad. Very, very strong scorecard for team number two here. We get a B for coverage, A for bulk, B for safety, and a B for consistency. Very, very strong scorecard for team number two here. Let's have a look at these matchups. So Altaria, very powerful lead here in the Great League. Of course, uh, it wants nothing to do with the Steel types whatsoever. It does not like the Ice types or the Charmers either. And we've got coverage for those in the back coming in the form of Reggie Steel first and foremost, as well as Quagsire having coverage on those Flyers and Ice types. So so with a steel type, you're getting out of there. The only steel type that will give you the most trouble will be a Galarian Stunfisk lead. And I wanted to highlight that one specifically because obviously you don't want to stay in there with Altaria, but it's a hard sell to safe swap Reggie in onto a G-Fisk coming in at an energy disadvantage. Reggie already uh, has trouble on even energy with G-Fisk coming in at an energy disadvantage just compounds that issue and makes it quite a bit worse. So this is the rare circumstance where I would actually recommend safe swapping Quagsire on that trying to get shields down because Reggie Steele and Altaria, believe it or not, up a shield can actually put in work against G-Fisk. So that's the only time I'm going to advocate for safe swapping Quagsire. They will not stay in for that nonsense. They're going to likely meet you with a flyer. If they meet you with a grass type, that is just brutal RPS. Not a whole lot you can do there. Although I do not anticipate seeing very many grass types. Um, the most prominent one now left standing will be uh, Shadow Vic. And it'll likely compare it with a Basti. That is just a RPS hard counter line. You can't beat, you can't win that. But anything else, we can cook a little bit, guys. I'm telling you. If they meet you with a flyer, you can pressure shields, get a shield advantage with your Quagsire, which will set up either Altaria or Reggie Steel to put in work. So that's how I would tackle a G Fisk lead. Everything else in between is super straightforward. All other steel and ice types, uh, you're going in the Reggie Steel looking to pressure shields. You're not shielding Reggie Steel. You want to get a shield advantage for Quagsire to close. That's the uh, objective of this team and how it is designed. So that's how you play this team. Uh, really, G-Fisk will be the only thorn in the side. 
And of course, the uh, Mon for Mon RPS line, uh, that being a Basti lead with a Shadow Vic in the back. But anything outside of that, you're going to be doing A-OK with team number two here. That's about it for this one. Yeah, very strong scorecard. Very strong team overall. It leads with Altaria. They're on the lead. Reggie on the safe swap and Quagsire in the back to close strong. So that is team number two. And with all that said, let's move right along to team number three. All right, guys, last but certainly not least, we've got team number three here. This time, Quagsire is leading uh, on team number three. Uh, so we do have it on the lead. We've got Knocked Owl on the safe swap and Altaria in the back to close the game strong for you. Um, again, I don't anticipate seeing too many grass types, but we've got adequate coverage for that uh, coming in the form of these two very bulky and powerful flyers. Um, what I'm more so targeting are the counter users because Quagsire, especially the Shadow, does not like the counter users. Uh, that, that fast move pressure is just too much, especially for the Shadow, and the shields are not going to help you much there. So um, that's why we've got flyers that resist the, well, at least uh, Altaria does, but Noctel bulky enough to withstand it and fight back. So let's have a look at the scorecard here. And not bad. Very, very similar to team number two's scorecard. We get a B for coverage, B for bulk, B for safety, and a B for consistency. Very strong, very solid scorecard for team number three here. Let's have a look at these matchups. So, uh, Quagsire on the lead. I, I like it on the lead. Um, I like it uh, slightly better as a closer. Not thrilled about it being a safe swap. So, I think if you run it, you either run it as a lead or keep it in the back as a closer. So, we are leading with it here. Uh, Quagsire on the lead is going to handle the uh, steel types first and foremost. One of the better steel type answers uh, now with Mud Bomb, as well as having adequate coverage on the ice types as well. You just want to keep it away from the counter users, like I said. Doesn't like the counter users. It does not like Swampert either and can fight back against the Flyers, though. So, any uh, counter user like Scrafty, Metacham, Vigoroth, you're out of there. You're out of there on Swampert. We've got the coverage for those in the back. I didn't want to highlight Altaria on the lead. That can be a bit tricky. Of course, knowing that Altaria, nine times out of ten, will absolutely have a Steel type in the back, generally coming in the form of Reggie Steel. So the way I would play any lead loss, Altaria included, is I would like to chip and dip. That's how I'm playing any lead loss with Quagsire. You want to chip and then come in with Noctowl at a health advantage. That's the best way to tackle a lead loss with this team. Altaria, yeah, you definitely want to either at least pressure a shield. It's not likely that they will shield the Stone Edge as they do tank it, but early on, uh, they may not want to do that. They may want to get aggressive and take out that Quagsire at all costs, so they may shield that uh, Stone Edge. And if you're really good, you can catch that uh, Sky Attack, although I would and, um, yeah, you can because they're they're not going to stay in. So catching that sky attack damage on Noctowl would not be a bad idea because they're likely going to bring in that steel type. Uh, like I said, usually in the form of Reggie Steel. So you won't really need health there because you cannot flip that. So that's how I'm playing Altaria uh, particularly. The same goes for all other lead losses uh, outside of the uh, counter users in Swapper. Those ones, you're getting out of there immediately. Anything that's relatively neutral, like an Umbreon, you don't win. You can uh, chip and dip first, especially on, on something as tanky as Umbreon or Altaria. So... That is team number three, um, and that about wraps it up, guys, for my top three best teams for Quagsire and the Great League. I'm super excited for it. Uh, got Mud Bomb making it that much more meta relevant. Going to handle those lanterns beautifully, as well as the steel types, which is something we absolutely needed for season 15. But guys, I had a blast. I hope you all enjoyed. As always, I thank you for watching and keep up the grind. Thank you, guys.